Good to see the clouds breaking up out there this morning. Foot health is the theme of this week's house call. This morning we're talking about plantar fasciitis. Dr. Todd Hyatt is a podiatrist with Triad Foot Center and a member of the Cone Health Medical Staff. Good morning. Good morning. I think a lot of people have heard of this, but describe the symptoms. A lot of people say my foot's sore. How do you point toward plantar fasciitis as something, the condition that a certain person is facing? I think most people that have actually say, my foot is sore, the first thing that they see is when they step out of bed in the morning, that mm -hmm. very first sharp pain that they feel in their heel. Okay. Um, plantar fasciitis is basically the inflammation of a ligament that runs from the knuckle bones of the foot to the heel bone. Okay. Um, so you feel it in that you, heel? You do. Right? You feel it right there in the heel generally. Okay. Now there are other issues that can cause heel pain, but typically that first step out of bed in the mornings, then it'll get better after a few steps. Okay. Again, after you've been sitting for lunch, get back up, again, sore. Okay. Um, so that's typically the way that you know that you're That's first stage. That what can it progress to? If you say, well, I'll just live with it, how bad can it get? It can become debilitating. It can become from acute, simple little pain all the way to coming into our office in wheelchairs and on crutches. Really? So yeah. the next step is okay let's deal with it I, I guess you not something you want to live with you got to find a way right. to get better first thing you have to do is find a, a physician a podiatrist and d have it diagnosed make okay. sure that it is plantar that's fasciitis. what you're dealing that's with. right okay. exactly and then once you have diagnosed it accurately then you start an algorithm that we go through as far as treatment okay and, and what would what would treatment be for some treatment point? typically consists of um, steroid injections um, whether it's like a cortisone injection um, steroids by mouth, prednisones, um, non-steroidals, anti-inflammatories, mm -hmm. um, stretching exercises, ice therapy, shoe gear modification, um, night splints, mm -hmm. things like that, that. And those are all conservative type therapies that we go through to try to, to alleviate the symptoms of fasciitis. Will most people respond to that? I mean, a good 80% okay. will respond to so that. So you've got a better than ever chance. But I guess the key is if you feel the pain, get it looked at. Don't just assume, oh, this is something that's going to go away. It's much easier to treat a chronic inflammatory condition such as an acute fasciitis mm -hmm. as opposed to a chronic long-standing fasciitis. Um, the conservative therapies that we just mentioned typically don't work as well mm -hmm. after three or four months. Okay. Some people come in, oh, it's been going on for three years. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, a, it's not, not a, something you should be living with. That's correct. W what are we doing in our lives to make it happen or kind of aggravate it? Well, being in the in the world that we live in now, I mean, it's you know everything's made out of concrete. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, it's your environment that you're in, the shoe gear that you wear, um, our obesity in this country now. Okay. Um, so weight does have an issue, it does play a role in if it. If you play, if you walk hard, or like I, I described as walking hard, where you just you know come down hard on that heel, I guess that's a stressor too. It does. I mean, that that's a stressor. The, out of all of the things that can cause heel pain and plantar fasciitis. 99% of the time it's going to end up being something called a biomechanical problem. Okay. Biomechanics is just the way that that foot functions mm -hmm. as we age, as our shoe gear wears, okay. things like that. Is When you mention shoes, mm -hmm. I guess staying with a better pair of shoes or, or replacing them, I know we all wear our tennis shoes too long, that a way to kind of make that impact not so abrupt? E exactly. Um, shoe gear with heel counters, the, mm -hmm. the, the back of the shoe, um, no flip-flops, no sandals. No, oh, come you know, those, on. Those Summer comes and we love to wear them. I know, and that's when we see a large influx really? into the office. During the summer, when you summertime go to those, yeah. and fall, we yeah. see that. So, um, but a, a good heel, you know, a good heel counter, for instance, in a, um, in a, in a good tennis shoe. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing about it is our tennis shoes wear out. Yeah. We can't wear them for three and four and five years. They look great, but Despite the guts. Despite me wanting to wear them. Exactly. Put them outside, use them to mow in. Okay. Other than that, the guts of the shoe start to wear out. Okay. Doctor, thank you very much. Certainly. We appreciate you coming in. We appreciate the advice, and we'll Not all feel better for you.